Morning family, it's Tasha, my rare prepping. So let's get into it. It's Monday, I already spilled stuff on myself. It doesn't even matter. Had a great weekend. I hope you did too. Um, and just welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Get your drink, pull up. We're about to talk about it. You know, there's so much going on right now that, you know, it's hard to decipher sometimes what's going on. And so it's super important that you know how to research, know how to look up things for yourself, verify things that you're hearing, whether that's news stuff, whether that's information people are sending you, in my case, whether that's you watched something on somebody's channel and you're like, is that even true? Or I want to verify, is that is that true? Or just learning skills, knowledge, and learning how to do things, right, for yourself. And so today, I'm just sharing with you guys five things that I'm researching that I've been researching recently, right? That I'm trying to get smarter on now, recently has just been in the forefront of my thoughts and that I'm getting into, getting deeper into researching, getting on the internet, trying to find out all the information that I can about it so that I can be successful, okay? And so that I can make a decision for myself, right? So five things I'm gonna share with you. Um, and another thing is kind of like the thumbnail, right? Alludes to blinders. You know, a lot of people don't want to know the truth about something. They don't want to know if something is true or um, more about it, right? They don't like confrontation. They just want to go about life doing what they're doing, right? And and that's fine. That's your that's people's rights to do that. That's fine, okay? Um, but I'm not that type of person. I definitely think that if you are a person who is critical thinking, thinking about what's going on, what could happen, the what ifs, and you're planning for that, you're preparing for that, then this should be a huge aspect. It's no different than you inventorying and making sure and seeing what you have and making your list of things that you still need and making your emergency um, plans and things like that, right? You're a planner, you're a thinker, and this is no different. You've got to be able to research and decipher through different news articles you're, you're hearing, things that are happening in the world and around you. And then, then you can shift and make um, decisions and base your priorities and what's priority for you and your family off of those said things that you're, that you're um, researching and watching, okay, and learning about. So first thing I'm researching right now is stuff about the garden, right? companion planting, anything from there to garden fighters, right? Different things that I can put on my garden to fight different things, to fight insects, to fight bugs, to fight whatever. The other day I watched a video on the effects of hydrogen peroxide and I had a mix of water and 3% hydrogen peroxide. And oh my goodness, I sprayed it on all my plants. It's for fungus. Um, base, really, if you have a lot of plants that are yellowing, so not all my plants were yellowing, but I researched that you could put it on all your plants and that it would be beneficial, especially the ones that were yellowing because that's a sign of a fungus or something, right? So the weaker ones, the yellower ones, I sprayed it on everything, right? Oh my goodness. First of all, everything loved it, but there was spe uh, specific plants that absolutely I saw a huge increase. I had a a bundle, a little bundle of sunflowers that were growing together and they weren't going anywhere. They were staying the same height. They were just kind of all together. They weren't completely dead, but they were turning yellow and they were just staying there. Okay. I also had some chamomile, same thing. It, it was nice. It was nice and green underneath though those leaves or branches were yellowing okay and it, again it was alive but it wasn't really doing much okay from just watering and stuff baby i sprayed that hydrogen hydrogen peroxide three percent mix put the water on there those two specifically are going crazy now they're lifted up off the dirt they're they're growing towards the sun um they are just doing very, very well, okay? And so everything looks great, but it, I just noticed that those specific two plants really, really, it affected them in, in a very, very positive way. And so that's what I mean. I was on Wide Family Farm. Again, I mentioned this the other day, was on her garden talk and learned about how she puts um, garlic cloves in her water and she lets it sit out in the sun a little bit and then she waters at her whole entire garden with this, this garlic water. And it helps with bugs keeping the right insects out of the, of, of the garden, right? And I just was like, dang. So 
research, research the things you've heard. I know you've heard different things about gardens and, and things that are helpful. Even something as simple as learning how to apply garden scraps and eggshells. There's a thousand different one ways that people will tell you to do this. Different things, teas and composting that people make or have learned over the years that they put on their gardens. Um, how to apply Epsom salt, how to apply Dawn dish soap, how to apply all these things that you hear or maybe don't hear and learn about how they will affect your plants. If you see that a certain plant is being ate in a certain type of way, research that, right? Research, um, take a picture, research, figure out what kind of bug it is, and then research how you get rid of it, okay? It's it's very, very simple, okay? And so that's something that I'm currently researching like crazy right now is, is um, garden, um, you know, fighting, you know, different things, garden fighters, the different natural things that I can buy and get and get my hands on and making sure that I keep those in my prep so that I always have those for this garden and future gardens, okay? Next thing I'm researching, this is fairly new. This was from a subscriber, bless her heart. Um, I'm not going to mention who she is, but she was just sending me a huge information um, email about dewormers. Now, I know controversy, people are like dewormers are not for people, um, all this stuff, okay? And I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse. I'm researching this right now, though, the effects that dewormers have on people, okay? The things that um, fighting parasites and what par parasites lead to in your body and cause in your body. Um, are not good, right? And so dewormers and using those on people um, and, and not just, I'm not just talking about like ivermectin, right? I'm talking about other stuff, right? So just, she piqued my curiosity. I'm researching like crazy. Again, you can't just believe everything you hear, okay? You, you just can't just, you just can't do that, okay? It's not, it's not, smart to just be the type of person that just says oh, okay because you said so it must that must be right or just because you're a doctor that must be that must be right that's right right and so um but you also have to have common sense so that you can decipher through those conversations what's important and what's not important okay and then you make decisions but for me this is a big topic that i am researching um and that's dewormers okay net for people okay all right um and there's not really a thing so okay so next thing i am really really researching and have been for a while and that's radiation fighters anything so one it's like okay something happens how close are we to something if you actually make it through initial blast if you actually make it through that initial area where radiation is going to get you soon within 60 days 90 days right you're close enough that you know, eventually it's going to get you. Um, but, but if you're outside of that, right, the biggest thing is long term effects. So I'm not really concerned about me and hubby. I'm concerned about kids. I'm, a, I'm concerned about little ones that are growing up in a world where devastation it's, I, we can't even fathom what that would look like. And I know a lot of people are like, who cares? Who, who cares about planning for that? Um, you know, we're all dead in the long term. We're all gonna, die, you know, all this stuff. And that's fine. And if you want to lay down and have blinders on and just say, we're, we're gonna lay down and die, then then fine, man, lay down and die that whatever, like that's, if that's for you, and that's the look that you're going for, then do it. Okay. Um, but if we've made it, and we're outside this, the major scope of something happening, we will do everything in our power to fight at every every corner um, to make it, right? Growing food indoors, however we have to do it, okay? Um, we're going to fight until the end, all right? Um, and so I've been researching radiation fighters, things to eat, things to drink, Um Anything, anything I can get my hands on information, okay? Um, how, what does a world look like after that? How do you grow food? How do you do anything, if at all, right? Um, 
How do you just have everything indoors and try to just make, I just, it's a lot. And so I've been researching this for a while. And so, um, you know, I did my, my videos for you guys on nuclear fallout, how to live with that, things to do, whatever. And then I've just continued the researching past that. Okay. I had a lot of subscribers hit me up with information, things they're doing, which got my mind then thinking, and so this is something I've been researching this entire time is different radiation fighters, different things that you would do during fallout or whatever the case may be. Next thing I'm um, researching currently is medicinal plants and more so. So this is the thing in the past. I've always been like, oh, what are medicinal plants? What are plants that you've just heard of that do different things? Make sure you have them in your garden, whatever. Lately, though, I've been researching specifically um, certain things that I want to be able to treat. Like, okay, when you're sick, what's a major thing that might happen to you that is serious, right? Fever, fever, serious. So then taking fever, looking at all my holistic herbal um, books, then going to the internet, researching all the things that I can either foods or over the counter meds or holistic plants, medicinal plants that I can get seeds for now, get plants for now, get planted now, get already planted, dried out now, get oils in, whatever it is for that said thing that will help fever, let's say, right? And then you write down your book, Fever, all the stuff that I learned about fever. And then I've been researching, you know, m those medicinal plants and getting that aspect totally buttoned up for that specific symptom, right? You know, we have these books that, that show us all these things, but if you don't grow those those right things, you don't have them. So it doesn't matter if the book's like, hey, the leaves from this plant will help with this, right? Um, and then you're like, well, I don't even have that plant because I didn't prepare. So next, what's something else that will help with that, right? And so um, if we're thinking about it and being deliberate with what are the things we're truly trying to treat and then making sure you have those medicinal plants there, right? If you get hurt, and you want to be able to take a plant and make a little salve and just put it on that wound. Like what plants can you do that with, right? What part of the plant do you take to do that, right? Is it the leaves? Is it the bark? Is it the stems? Is it the flower? Is it what part of that plant does the thing that you need to do? And you're not going to know that if you don't research that stuff. And then therefore, you're, you're also not going to have the right plants and the right things planted and around you to then take care of whatever it is you need. You might have a book that tells you, you know, this, this is perfect. And then you just, but you didn't plan. You didn't really think it through. Okay. And then the last thing we're researching, again, we've been researching, this is kind of a fun research and that's, um, our chickens, right? We're going to get our chicks here in next month. So we're in May. So June, we're getting our chicks. We decided to just push forward with it, regardless of the septic is not going to be done yet. Um, you know, the chicks will be inside anyway, and they'll be close to going outside, but they'll be fine. Um, and then, um, you know, so researching, researching the coop, a temporary coop, um, figuring out the things that they'll like, what's going to make them happy, um, all the stuff for, for, you know, growing them indoors and, you know, those, those chicks and making those chicks happy and just everything that we need to know, right? I'm literally sucking in all this information, tips, tricks, things that people are saying about chickens, things to know before you get chickens, all this good stuff. Okay. And so we've been doing that quite a bit for a while. Um, so just super, super excited that for that, um, to kind of be unfolding now for us. Okay. So that's the five things that I've been researching lately. I research stuff all the time, you guys, but when I thought about it this morning, what, what could I share with them that I'm actually researching? And like, those are the first five that really pop out because they're the most recent. They're stuff I'm researching right now today. Um, and, and some of them I've been researching for a while now, but I'm still researching them to this day. I still care about all these things right now. Um, and then some of the stuff is, is very new. Like in the last couple of days I learned about and I want to to uh, do more research about, okay? Don't sit around with blinders, okay? If you see something, you hear something, see what you can find out about it, right? Um, don't just take people's word for it. See what you can find out about it, okay? Because, but, but it's important because when you hear things, that's a heads up. 
And then that's a way that you get information before other people. You could research it, see what's going on, see if you believe it, see if it's something you need to apply to your life and what's going on and your priorities and adjust, right? Shift, shift what you're doing to something else, depending on what you heard, and then go from there. So I hope this helped. You know, I'd like to hear in the comments below things that you guys have been researching recently, like share with the group. This is how we learn. Um is when we share together, we help each other with different things that we're learning, different things that we are learning about, researching, think that is important to be doing now, thinking about now, um, and getting more information about now because it is important now, okay? So please share that with the group. I hope you guys had a blessed weekend um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Take care, bye.